two on Richie's top ten I'm so over it playlist, but here at number one is Taylor Swift. We are never, ever getting back together. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that song either. It's like, we get it, love. It's over. No, it's rich in all these ridiculous breakup songs. I mean, I'm upset about the breakup too. You don't hear me going on about it. Mm, I don't know. You have been humming Let It Go for the past two hours. Oh, my bad. You know what we need? We need to have some fun. You know, I'm not really in the mood for fun lately. <gasps> That's all the more reason to have fun then! We used to have loads, remember? We threw the best sleepovers ever. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about them. They were pretty legendary. <gasps> we should have one. Tonight, the castle is perfect for it. Do you know what? I'm in. <laughs> That's totes amaze. Wait, do you reckon the others will let us use the castle? Uh, I'm part owner too, and I say the place is ours. <laughs> Welcome back, old friend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's weird. Don't say I never bring you anything. Oh, yes, cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Where did you get these from? And how did you change your clothes? Kate and Claire and, uh, none of your beeswax. Oh, I can't eat these. They're dog food. Hey, not my fault you're a fussy eater. Master Rich, if there's one thing I know the signs of, it's a broken heart. And you, my good friend, are heartbroken. What? <laughs> That'd be silly. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Many of the greats have suffered a broken heart. Vincent van Gogh, Charles Dickens, Sir Justin of the Bieber. What? At least Lady Caitlin isn't dissing you all over the gramophone. Don't you mean the internet? Do I? I don't know. I just need something to sink my teeth into. But with Jimmy on tour, we've had to put the album on hold. In that case, I have a business proposition for you. I have been looking for someone to help me with the ghost L. Go on. I could learn from your supreme business knowledge and you could have something to, how you say, sink your teeth into. Do you know what, Gabe? That ain't a bad idea. A new business venture is exactly what I need right now. Excellent! Now, could we have something a little more upbeat? Mozart, perhaps. I've got you back, Gabe. <laughs> yes, Mozart. Born in 1756. Oh, finally. I know, I was one love song away from locking Rich in the wardrobe and taking over the radio station. Since when did Baltimore become so boring? I blame the teenagers. There's been too much talk about feelings and not enough pranking. Until tonight, that is. Why? What's happening tonight? I just overheard Kate and Claire. They're having a sleepover. That's the perfect opportunity to shake things up around here. Oh, genius. Well, have you got any ideas? Have I got any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> the humans are at it again. Oh, no, not line dancing. I can't take the stomping anymore. No, stealing. <sighs> Great, and we'll get the blame, as always. The small C31 took two of the fluffy, creamy, delicious things that the two bossy ones are always making. <sighs> oh, I love them. Me too. You should go get us some. What? Why me? Well, because I dare you. Well, I dare you. Ha! What's wrong? I thought you didn't do the scared thing. I thought you were the bravest mouse that ever squeaked. I am. Then prove it. Very well. I, Carlos the Brave, will return with something delicious. Oh, I like her fur. Right, well, I've brought all the sleepover essentials. Me too. This is going to be the sleepover to end all sleepovers. Face masks, the key to any good sleepover. Suppose. Or we could have a game of... Horstar. Horstar? <laughs> What's that? The best game ever. You get to name, choose and style your own horse and then race it in the Grand National. And you do that for fun, do you? So much fun, trust me. Can't wait. Um, 
Well, I have actually brought a couple of DVDs that we could watch. Me too. What are yours? Well, this one is a romantic comedy about a boy and girl who fall in love over the shared love of origami. So cute. And this one is a scary one about a killer TV set that comes alive. <laughs> OK. Or we could watch my DVD, <laughs> which is War Horse, undoubtedly the best film ever. And that's about a horse, is it? Yes, Claire. It's got the name Horse in the title. Right. <laughs> well, um, what do you want to do first? Think horse, sir? <coughs> Oi, leave it alone. Look, these uniforms make us look like respectable businessmen. Sorry. If it's not lace, I simply cannot wear it. Moving on. Mm. Are you ready to counsel your first ghost, Master Rich? Yeah, of course I am. I'm ready to pounce on him. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We don't pounce, Master Rich. In counselling, we greet the client and make them feel safe and welcome. <laughs> We're in business. We pounce on the client. Look, what we do, we even move a bit of jibber-jabber. They make the quick sale. Hey? Why don't you sit back and watch me deal with this one? All right. Well, you're the boss. I'll sit back and observe. Is this the ghost L? Yes. But customers usually arrive through the portal. I'm scared of small spaces. <laughs> I'm t t Tim, by the way. Well, Tim, I'm Gabe, and this is Rich. What's happening, Tim? Oh, is this a castle? Yes, it's bomb. Oh, wait, you do realise that there's a 3% chance you could be hit by falling debris in an old building such as this? Only 3%. I get here and there all the time, eh, Gabe? <laughs> Let's move somewhere safer, shall we? Come on, just this way. <laughs> Come on, Prince William, you can do it. Come on. Yes, we won! <laughs> what happened? Did I win? Claire, you fed your horse curry before the race, chose extra heavy horseshoes, and named it Horse. Of course you didn't win. Well, no offence, but this horse thing, it's, it's getting a bit boring. Whoa, 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 hang on. Number one, it's not a thing, it's an official sport, OK? And number two, putting on face masks is hardly jumping out of aeroplanes, now is it? Uh, excuse me, these are expensive. They're made out of part snail extract, part Himalayan mud. Oh, slime? We're wearing actual slime on our faces for fun. Yeah, expensive slime. Uh, OK, time out. Is it just me or did our old sleepovers used to be a lot more fun than this? Well, we never used to argue as much. Guess we just liked the same things back then. No. How about... A game of truth or dare. Yes, great idea. We used to love truth or dare. <laughs> That's how I found out about your weird obsession with clothes. They are practical and stylish. What's not to love? <laughs> right. Truth or dare? <laughs> um, truth. Um, got it. So, you're on a desert island and you're only allowed one person for company. Who would you choose? Rich or Jimmy? They're my only options. <laughs> well, for starters, I won't be getting on a boat with them two. Come on, you've got to tell the truth. No, oh, Claire, you can't ask me that when I've just blown with Rich. So you choose Jimmy? No, 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 no way. I'd choose Rich. I'm stranded on an island. There's no way I'd lose my mind as well. <laughs> OK, my turn. I choose Jimmy. Claire, I didn't even ask you. Uh, wait, Jimmy? Well, <laughs> if I was stranded on a desert island, then I'd obviously have no Wi-Fi. And Jimmy's a really good singer, so I could just listen to him sing. You fancy Jimmy. <laughs> dares! Dares, dares, dares! It must be time for dares. <laughs> what are you two? What are you doing? No, nothing. nothing, nothing. Alright, we'll keep the noise down, alright? Gabe and I are cancelling a nervous ghost and we don't need no drama. Oh, sleepover prank. Let's go. 
I dare you? You never told me you fancy Jimmy. I mean, I think I understand why. To break though. into the radio station. <laughs> but I mean, he's Jimmy. He eats yogurt with a fork. And sing a love song live on air. I can't believe you never told me something this big and disturbing. Well, I'm telling you now, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the end of the world because somebody fancies Jimmy. Oi! <laughs> it's locked. We're locked in! <laughs> you are such a drama queen. Watch out. See? We're trapped! We're going to be trapped here forever. <laughs> Remember, you are in safe hands. There is no need to feel overwhelmed or indeed overreact. Just a few simple questions. Firstly, what is the reason for your visit to the ghost hell? I want to be brave enough to move on to the next stage of the afterlife. Well, then you have come to the right place, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's easy. Look, you'll be out of here as quick as you can say, this ghost is French toast. <laughs> it will not be easy but we can assure you that we will help you. Number two, cause of death. It's a bit embarrassing. Well, don't worry about it, cos Gabe caught a cold and, you know, choo! Nothing more embarrassing than that, eh, Gabe? <laughs> Thank you, Master Rich. Go on, Tim. Um, I, I, I was reading my book and, um, well, well, I didn't see the taxi come in. I'm sorry to hear that. Look, you was reading a book about how to avoid accidents when you had your accident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk about having your nose stuck in a book, eh, Gabe? Master Rich, you promised to watch and listen, remember? Oh, huh? Well, Tim, we are here to help you. At the ghost hell, you won't have to do anything you don't want to. We will work together until you feel ready to move on. Tim, you can't spend your whole afterlife <laughs> under a blanket. There's a whole world out there. I mean, off the world. What are you doing? Trust me, I know exactly what I'm doing. Look, come on, Timothy. You need to live a little, mate. Come on. What could go wrong, eh? Hey. See? I told you. Was that Kate and Claire or something from Bogmore Pond? <laughs> what? Yeah. Gabe, let me in. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it was kind of a rush. I know. Do you want to do it again, right? <laughs> yeah. Did you do this? What? M make you look like you've just had a facial from Shrek? <laughs> So it was you. <laughs> this is so going on ghostly, but... Well, we are going to get you back when you least expect it. Are mm. we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, we are, when you least expect it. There's no way you two will get us. But, because we are silent dread. <laughs> More like time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you just mess with the angels of fear. Uh, you mean no idea? There's no way to know anything about pranking. Yeah? Well, prepare to be scared, moaning Myrtle. Bring it on, angry birds. Angels of fear, where did that even come from? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> How are we going to prank them? No idea, but we definitely need to get them back. Yes. Those two will not make us look stupid. <laughs> Again. <laughs> OK. First we pluck, then we prank. Right. Let's do this. Meet you outside Dylan's bedroom in five minutes. Well, don't worry. I doubled back and heard what they've got planned. And that's why no one will ever out prank Silent Dread. You're our secret weapon. Just had an idea. Look, so slow down with the ideas. I haven't had one yet. How would you like to have a little bit of fun with Kate and Claire's prank? Hmm. Interesting. A prank on top of a prank, you say? Mm-hmm. Wait, I've just had an idea. 
It is madness out there. What's going on? They're playing jokes on each other, I think. It's hard to tell. There was a lot of screaming and a lot of feathers. But you got food, right? Um. Oh, oh you've been gone ages. I'm practically wasting away. I got this. Oh. It's called a face mask. Apparently, it makes you look ten years younger. Oh. I wasn't even born ten years ago. You might like it in here. It's a uh, very quiet and no one will disturb you. Thanks for that, little man. Matter of fact, we actually need a bit of space for this next exercise, all right? Exercise? No, 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 I don't exercise. You can die from exercise. Uh, Rich, oh, I thought you said he was a ghost. Yeah, well, he is a little different. Master Rich, I really do appreciate your enthusiasm, but I think it's best I handle Tim's counselling as we discussed. No, chill, G man, all right? I got this. Okay, Tim, let's start with a few breathing exercises, yeah? So let's breathe, let's go. <laughs> or not, because cause breathing's not important, right? So first up, let's work on body language. Nothing says brave more than some confident body language, all right? So I want you to strike a fearless pose, all right? Look down there. <laughs> yes, Tim, yes! That's it! Now, we need some confident speaking, all right? Repeat after me. Mm -hmm. I am Tim the Brave. I am Tim the Brave. A little louder, Tim, a little louder. <laughs> uh, I am Tim the Brave. Yes, now strut. What? Strut, come on. <laughs> I am Tim and I don't care. I am Tim and I don't care. And I'm not so easily scared. And I am not so easily scared. If you try to frighten me, if you try to frighten me. I will stand my ground for all to see. And I'll stand my ground. <laughs> the angels are approaching. Oh, thanks for that, Leone. You just spooked our ghost. OK, there's so many things wrong with that sentence. Where did you even find these? <gasps> Was in the other Bogmore secret room? Ready? I'm taking Tim back to my room where people will try to scare him to death. Yeah, but Gabe, he's yes, a ghost. I'm aware he is a ghost. Tim? <laughs> You're safe with me. What are you doing? What? We thought you were down in the only. Well, we're not. Apologize to our guest. I'm Tim the Brave. Who? Come on, Tim. Silent Dread 2. Angels of Fear? No? Yes. Every time. Your Master Finch, I'm not sure driving our clients to the end of their wits is the best way for you to get over your breakup with Lady Killen. Well, hang on a minute. You beg me for my business expertise. I was just giving you something to do. Oh, thanks. I don't need your pity, all right? Oh. Is this the next stage of the afterlife? No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> You're still with us, Tim. Oh, and apparently it's my fault. <laughs> it is. Just like it's your fault we're wearing these really uncomfortable garments. The uniforms. Guys, what do we do now? Well, if it was up to me, I'd get back at the girls. You know, a revenge prank. You know, that might be against Gabe's golden ghost steel walls, eh, Gabe? Let's do it. Master Rich is right. You need to get out there and take on the element of surprise. A prank is perfect. Well, hang on a minute. I thought my tactics weren't helping. Well, I'm probably out of touch with modern counselling. I should be open to new ideas. <laughs> I'm scared of pranks. They did them to me all the time at school. It was like going to a school for clowns. So that's why you're so nervous. Look, Tim, a prank is just a bit of fun, mate. Look, you get used to that once you've done one. What happened to Tim the Brave, eh? Tim the Brave. You can do this, man. Okay. This is how we'll approach you. The only thing that can turn this night around is three scoops of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mmm. Organic, dairy free, and non fat, of course. Where's the point? Let's just watch the film. All right, but I am warning you. It is 
pretty scary. A TV set that comes to life. <laughs> uh, unlike ours, then. That's weird. Won't turn on. Wait, something's happening. Is this how it starts? Who dares turn on the demon TV? I don't remember this part of the film. Those who summon it should be very afraid. Wait, what's wrong with the TV? Did you say this film was a hit? For once it has been turned on, it can never be turned oh. off. No, he's not! Look! OK, look, we're being ridiculous. When have you ever heard of a TV being haunted? In the film we were just about to watch. No, 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 we're just tired. We're just tired and need to get some sleep. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. We'll just call it a night, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what joyous hilarity! Oh. Oh, do you know what? I thought it was pretty genius, to be honest. She didn't mean to prank you, remember? It was an accident. Look, you've been revenge pranked, so why don't you just deal with it, yeah? <laughs> ah, yes! Come on. Deal with it. <laughs> well, at least the TV's not haunted. See, it worked. <laughs> and it was fun. I told you. And no one got hurt. So you see, Tim, you don't have to be frightened all the time. I did it. <laughs> You're a prank legend now, man. Oh, well, I mean, that must be down to you for helping me. <laughs> don't mention it, man. Don't mention it. <laughs> oh, no, seriously. I think you'll find I played a part too. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was impressed. I really was impressed. <laughs> Since when did we become the walkovers, the scaredy cats, the feathered freaks? Yeah, we used to be the ones causing trouble, not falling for everyone else's pranks. Hey! Remember what they used to call us at school? The, the Musketeers. Musketeers! Claire, that's it, you've got it. Do you remember we convinced the whole class that a tiger had escaped from the zoo and was running loose in the cafeteria? Yeah, and it spread around the whole school by lunchtime and no one ate school dinners for a month. Exactly. See, we're not thinking big enough. We are the Musketeers. We don't do small pranks, we think big. Yes, we need to get everyone back with one huge prank. Exactly. We just need to think Musketeer. Hey, remember our old handshake? Do I? <laughs> oh, er, uh, slaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> Guess it's been a while. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> We were pranking you all. This isn't us. Then we must have found the party, guys! Rich, I need you to do some of those exercises with me. Oh, uh, you just got to stay brave and, uh, and man up, all right? It's not working! Look at me. You're going to be fine. Just close your eyes. And think of a happy place. Somewhere you feel safe. Oh, yeah. Got it? Yeah. My old maths classroom. Good. That's nice okay. Why will this be over already? And if you stop, we promise to never prank again. 
again. I think I'm ready to go through that portal now. That's great, Tim. And you will. Just as soon as we know the poltergeist has gone back to sleep. All right, well, who's going to check, eh? Rich? Yeah. I thought so. I am. Well, come in, Tim the Brave. Fun, but I need a lie down. <laughs> Thank you, both of you. You may have different counts like techniques, but you've both made me see that there is such a thing as being too careful. Glad to help. Exhausted. I don't ever remember being this tired from our old sleepovers. That's because this one was way more fun. <laughs> you know, I'm really glad we did this. It's just like old times. We are the angels of fear. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're the musketeers. Yes, we are. <laughs> 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 